hi friends this is leela welcome to my channel we have did the post module right so we have did the crud operations and also we have did the lazy loading and also we have included the for feature store module now let's try to implement the authentication module so that is nothing but the login and registration how we can do the authentication module using the ngrx state management now here i will be creating one new folder okay that is nothing but the auth and here i will create one file that is nothing but the auth.module.ts okay i am lazy loading this auth module the same scenario let's go to the app routing here it is the app routing and here i will add it something like path of auth okay now mm, go to the auth.module.ts okay export class auth module okay we will be having auth module and here i will try to add ng module i will convert this into ng module right now in the app routing module if it is auth load children okay so this will take an method so that is nothing but the import of something like auth slash auth dot module dot then it will return a promise so dot then we can write it something like dot then m m dot auth module okay so we have added a route for the auth now let's go to the auth module and here what we'll try to do is so here we'll be having the imports it will be array and here we'll be having the declarations which could be the declaring of the components and i will declare the constant routes here of type routes is equal to it will take an array and here i will write it path empty and here i will write it load children directly sorry not load children children so this one will take an array and here what i will write it is path of empty okay i will add redirect to to login okay so redirect to, to login now here i will have another one that is nothing but the path of login okay and i will try to load the components before loading the component what i will try to do is i will try to create a component login component nggc auth in the auth create login component okay so let's create the login component here we will write add component it will be equal to now here it is created right login so we will be able to get the login component we have added the login component here and now what we will try to do we will try to import this one so here what i can write is router module router module dot for child it will be for child for child of routes okay and here where could this auth module is newer okay compare oh sorry so now if i go here and if i refresh don't save okay auth module oh, yeah login component has been included okay so our code everything is gone okay fine mm, we'll write right constant routes or otherwise we'll try to do yeah we got everything right so here declarations we'll try to login component okay so declarations and imports is completed now what we can do here so here we need to add the import common module also right common module so we need to import the common module also so first is first everything is completed now let's try to add it in the header component the navigation links so here i will try to take one li here and i will paste one li and here i will be having the login and here sign up and this one will go to the slash auth so slash auth means it will be related to the slash auth slash login so here i will create slash auth slash sign up we will create it afterwards this link on these components now if i go here and if i click on login so it went to the auth slash login and login works is working 
so we have successfully set up the root so auth sign up is not there so right now we have only the auth slash login so login has successfully lazy loading is working now i can go to the login component.ts let's go to the login component.html and in the auth module let's try to add the reactive forms module okay reactive forms module i added the reactive forms module and in this one what i will try to do is dot root dot call mod 12 or otherwise dot sorry offset hyphen md hyphen 3 so here i will try to add the form okay and here i will be having h3 login so this is all comes under designing thing okay hr and in this form what i will try to do is new class is equal to mb hyphen 3 and here i will be having label of type email and here what i will try to add is input type is equal to text and class is equal to form control okay so now i have the email in the same scenario i will be having the password also so here mbfn3 and i will keep the password and here what we will try to add is you will have the password and here you will be having the mb3 again and here button sorry button type is equal to submit and class is equal to b btn space btn hyphen primary okay so this is the button now if i try and if i go here so error parsing so some problem has been came what it is saying only void and file can be self-closed what is happening here okay sorry so this one is the button right what is happening here yeah so here i can write login button now if i try to see here if i go to login it's not working why it's not working let's try to see the console if i go and if i try to see the console yeah i'm able to get the output node injector something is not found okay fine so now what we will try to do is let's go to the login form here and i will add here login form of type form group okay so in the ng on init what i will try to do is so let's import this form group so we need to declare the form group so there is a reason we are getting a login form is equal to new form group of we will have two things that is nothing but email it is a new form control of first time it will be empty and here we can add validators dot required and another one is the validators dot email okay so if you want you can write your own uh, validations if you want so new form control of empty and here you will have validators dot required and validators sorry we will have the only password right validators are required and we will try to add this login form into the login.html and here i can add form group is equal to i can attach this login form and here i can have form control name is equal to email okay and another one is the form control name sorry what i have written here form control name is equal to password okay so these are the two things so now if i go if we go to the login if i go into the login now i am able to see successfully the login form so now what i will try to we will try to add the validations also there so that so that everything will be completed here so i can write here div star ngf we already know about how to write these all things ngf is equal to what is that one? login form right login form dot get of email okay dot touched and login form dot get of email dot valid if it is not valid then go into this div and check for for another validations star ng if is equal to login form dot get of email dot errors dot required if it is required you can write email is required okay or otherwise do 
invalid invalid email we can also write this one when we can write this one we can copy this one all condition and here we can write email okay in the same scenario we can take we can take this all in gif condition and for the password we will write, write it here in the for the password is if the password is touched and the password is not valid then if the password dot errors dot required is there so we have only one one right so we can remove this one and we can write the password is required if you want you can also remove this one also okay now if you want you can also remove why because we have only one validation there is no need of this one so now it is completed now here if you want you can write disable is equal to not of login form dot valid okay so now if i go here if i refresh this one so now this one is disabled now i can write here and if i come here invalid email okay okay so i can remove this one all so i can write some gibberish here okay it has become valid and the password is required if i remove if i can able to log in now what i will try to do is here in the same scenario ng submit on login or something whatever on login submit method now here i can and i can write here on login submit and here we can console dot log okay this dot login form dot value okay so now if i try to check the output so on login submit so now nothing will come i think yeah now i can write some gibberish here and i can write here and if i see i'm able to get the output now in the next video what we'll try to do is how we can submit this one to the database let's try to see it in the next video so we have designed the login form in the same scenario we'll design the sign up form also but first we'll try to successfully login how we can do the login through the state management we'll try to see if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you